Why, hello there. I'm Christopher Hansom, and welcome to another episode of Stateline BBC. Today we define the difference between predator and prey, and we delve into the depths of bestiality. Join us on this adventure. On to catch a predator. Why is it that bestiality seems to be a growing fad in today's youth? And what can we at Stateline BBC do to stop this nonsense? Here in the small town of Apple Bottom, California, the crime rate is essentially non-existent, and the residents here seem to be pretty happy, animal-friendly folks. Take a look at this pup here. But who could imagine the harm that a man would do to such a beautiful creature? <laughs> you know, I had a niece named Juniper once. Still do. And we actually used her for an episode of Stateline BBC a few months ago on how to catch a predator, using her photos of her dressed up as a cat two Halloweens ago. <laughs> it was crazy. So come along with us as we take down some predators. Joining us here today is my dear friend and partner in crime for some time, Erwin Kralips. Oh, hey, Chris. <laughs> He's been our lead research coordinator for, what, a decade now? Uh, it's been 11 years, Chris. <laughs> So, I've put together here an algorithm that uh, pinpoints keywords and phrases, um, anything that will really reel out predator, uh, make them, you know, interested in what we have going on here, such as butt plug, monkey muncher, um, you know, anything really of that sort. Um, I've got a lot of work to do. This is something I really like do on my on and off time. Something I sometimes enjoy. Who knows where he got all that experience from, right? <laughs> so after a thorough and extensive research, I was able to compile a list of documents and facts that were to prove that there is no real difference between a, uh, an actual child predator and a bestiality predator. <laughs> and needless to say, after we began this research, it didn't take long for these predators to start popping up all over our radar. For example, we've got one that popped up now. It's a Banana Hammer 83. Oh, yeah. that's an interesting name, seems, if I might say. It seems like a sick little fellow. Bananas and hammers. Yeah, what is he doing? It's so those? interesting. It's a, it's a fruit in a metal. Yeah. yeah. It's, these people, <laughs> you never know what they're thinking. After 319 minutes of some very in-depth, thorough research, thanks to our team here at BBC Stateline and my dear friend Irwin, we were finally able to tag one down. Wow, it's now time to stop monkeying around. I think we've got one. Now, since Banana Hammer 83 thinks I'm an actual gorilla, since he saw me as one on the online chat rooms, I'm gonna portray myself as one, so that that way we can reel him in and make the arrest that we need in this case. Chris, you wanna help me out here? I would, I would love to, Edwin. Thank you. I feel the nerves running through my veins right now. All right, let's take a deep breath. Just help me out, Chris. Let's go get it, guys. Let's put these fellows behind bars. We knew the perpetrator was approaching. Stay on BBC. What can I say? We were all very anxious. But we're pretty sure that, well, using Erwin Kralips as a ploy to get Banana Hammer 83 into the house was the best idea that we've had yet. Despite the fact he may have been sweating balls in that lovely gorilla suit of his, it was time for me to get face to face with this perpetrator and really get to the bottom of why and what encourages him to do such random acts. Why, hello there. How are you? Who are you? I, my friend, am Christopher Hansom. And you must be 
Banana Hammer 83, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. Hmm. Well, welcome. Uh, please be my guest. Make yourself at home. Feel welcome. Take a seat. Just going to uh, run through a few questions with you, if you don't mind. So, anyways, Banana Hammer 83, welcome to State Line BBC. We've got you on a few different cameras here. If you don't mind, I'm going to start out with asking, what is it that prompts a human to want to achieve a relationship with an animal? Uh, uh, well, animals uh, present, uh, they, they possess certain feelings that humans don't have. Uh, they, they care for me and I as them, and they, they never turn their backs on me. And they feel good. Ah. Very interesting what you said there at the end. However, a valid point, if I may, um, for I do understand that animals do provide a sense of affection. However, when it comes to reproducing with another species, do you not find that to be a little out there, if you will? Oh, I, I, didn't, I didn't plan on reproducing with the gorilla. Uh, I brought protection. Oh, wow. XLs, I see. He must be packing some heat. Uh, no, these are for the gorilla. I have a small dick. Um, alrighty. Now, are you aware, Banana Hammer 83, that bestiality is considered illegal in the United States of America? Oh, uh, I, 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 I was not aware. I, I, I thought that this is a free country for all, uh, man and animal. I, I, I was you don't aware. find it to be a little odd when it comes to the intermingling of species between man and human or man or anything that's not human. Um, is this something, what is it that causes you to want to do this? Uh, the animals, like, like I said before, um, they, they, well, I didn't say this before, but, uh, the animals, they don't say no. Hmm. Alrighty then, they well. don't say no. Yeah, this is true, I suppose. Well, Banana Hammer 83, I would like to thank you for your time today. Um, what can I say? You're free to go. I'm, I'm, I'm free to go. Yep. You may leave. Door is just right around the corner. Is he gone? We're good. Good. Glad we got him. It was yeah. a six month investigation. A lot of hard work. We caught him in an online gorilla chat room. Yeah. No more monkey business for this guy. Oh. Well, yeah. Luckily, well. luckily, uh, we've got right the support. We got the support of uh, the community. PETA got involved and they were they have our support and we have theirs and we definitely got this one under control. Good job.